Well, now to a very disturbing assault at Sesame Place in Bucks County. An employee was punched and had to undergo surgery after getting into a dispute with a visitor over wearing a mask. Trang Doe is at Sesame Place this evening to give you more on what happened. Trang? Well, Yuki, people are just stunned that two adults would attack a teenager like this, especially at a theme park for kids. Fortunately, though, police say they have tentatively identified the two suspects, so arrests could come very soon. Middletown Township police are investigating a disturbing attack on a teenage worker at a theme park meant to bring joy to little ones. Officers responded to Sesame Place in Langhorn just after 5 p.m. Sunday when a 17-year-old male employee was assaulted as he worked at Captain Cookie's High Seas Adventure Ride. Police say earlier in the day, the employee reminded a man and woman that they needed to wear masks inside the park. When the couple saw the employee again, police say they both struck him in the face, knocking him to the ground. Security guards chased the pair, but they got away. Police were able to get their license plate number, which is out of New York. Using the park's surveillance cameras and reservation records, Middletown police are now working with authorities in New York to positively identify the couple, who have only been described as being between 20 and 30 years old. The park is closed until Thursday, but a Sesame Place spokeswoman released a statement that reads in part, quote, the health and safety of our guests and team members is our top priority, and violence of any kind is unacceptable and not tolerated at our park. We are cooperating with local law enforcement on this ongoing investigation. Now, paramedics rushed the teenager to St. Mary's Medical Center to have surgery on his jaw. He also suffered a damaged tooth. But for now, we're live from Langhorne, Bucks County. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.